Chapter 638, Soul Altar Expert. Standing on the god corpse's head, Kin Lai could see clearly the intense battles happening all around him and feel just how cruel the conflict between large forces were. On the sky, crystalline war chariots exploded one after another. Countless martial practitioners gushed with blood and fell into the sea. Even those priceless fire phoenixes and luan birds had shattered one after another and turned into fiery fragments. Someone was dying horribly in every moment. For the world's resources, its spirit mines and mountain ranges, the increasing of one's realm and the accumulation of one's strength, bloody battles that were similar to this were happening at every corner of this vast spirit realm. Different forces, different regions and even different traces were fighting against other humans and the heavens themselves. The cruelty of the world was imprinted deeply in Kin Lai's mind. The two Gold Sun Island Island enforcers Liu Qing and Fang He were only 300 meters away from him. They were driving a crystalline war chariot and battling a group of Lin family martial practitioners fiercely. A Lin family martial practitioner at the early stage of fragmentation realm abruptly joined the battle after he had taken out his enemy. The moment he arrived, a small tide of the battle was immediately overturned. Yu King, Fang He, and several other Gold Sun Island martial practitioners were all struck by a disc-like spirit artifact in his possession. The purple crystalline war chariot beneath them burned with purple flames and came apart in midair. Yu King, Fang He and the others were only at fulfillment realm. They could only fall towards the sea. The disc spun towards them like a ghost. Yu King, Fang He and the rest of the Gold Sun Island martial practitioners were mangled beyond recognition as the sound of breaking bones ensued. They were crushed into fleshy pieces by the disc. On the other side, Sheng Yu Miao gripped a gold-colored long spear and penetrated a Su family late-stage fragmentation realm expert's neck. A similar scene was happening everywhere across the sky, the sea and the setting sun islands. More and more martial practitioners were dying on both sides. The blazing profound bombs earth-shaking booms erupted from the Black Voodoo Cult and the three great families' locations. Every time a blazing profound bomb erupted, it was always accompanied by the blood-curdling screams of several dozens of martial practitioners. Qin Lai saw with his own eyes Sheng Yu Ayuan tossing three blazing profound bombs towards the ship. In an instant, Nearly thirty people had been caught in the blast and killed outright. He and Lang Zi were detonating the blazing profound bombs among the Black Voodoo Cult and the three great family ships. The destruction they caused hadn't stopped yet even now. The blazing profound bomb, the artificers. Kin Lai muttered. From his minute observation of the battlefield, he discovered that the Black Voodoo Cult and the three great families' combat power had in fact surpassed Blood Fiend Sect and Gold Sun Island. However, Black Voodoo Cult had not seized a noticeable advantage despite the disparity. The reason was because the martial practitioners of Blood Fiend Sect and Gold Sun Island possessed a lot of blazing profound bombs. These unbelievably destructive killing tools could cause devastating destruction the second they detonated at where the Black Voodoo Cult and the three great families' people were gathered. It was enough to turn the tide around for Blood Fiend Sect and Gold Sun Island. Kim Lai suddenly realized just how critical a powerful artificer and a powerful killing tool was in the cruel battle of forces. Mo Hai, Tang Siki, and Lian were possessed average realms. They didn't have much combat power either. However, the blazing profound bombs they forged had killed far. Far more Black Voodoo Cult and the three great families' martial practitioners than the martial practitioners of Blood Fiend Sect and Gold Sun Island themselves. Qin Lai finally understood why the Terminator Sect that possessed the Terminator Profound Bombs could call themselves King on the Land of Chaos and intimidate all other forces. Besides the fact that Forefather Terminator Nanzangshan was a superpower on his own, the Terminator Profound Bomb was also a mighty killing tool that was known to everyone on the Land of Chaos. Pu Zi. Help me shackle the eight god corpses. Guan Xuan's cold voice rang from the thick, dark light. An expressionless middle-aged man walked out somewhat reluctantly from inside a large-sized flying spirit artifact that was shaped like a Luan bird. This middle-aged man who was named Puzi neither wore a black voodoo cult robe nor possessed an eerie evil aura. It was obvious that he hadn't nurtured a voodoo insect with his flesh and blood. Puzi's expression was a little pale. He looked like he hadn't seen sunlight for entire years. The grey-brown long-sleeved shirt he wore even looked worn. This person obviously cared nothing for appearance. Capture that kid who controls the god corpse. He cannot be killed. Guan Xian instructed as his voice came intermittently. He seemed to be facing increased pressure. Troublesome. Pu Zi frowned. In the next moment, he stepped towards Kin Lai while still looking reluctant. At Kin Lai's side, the seven god corpses were like sea gods who were causing gigantic tides and hunting down black voodoo cult and the three great families' martial practitioners everywhere. All those beneath Nirvana realm couldn't even hurt the god corpses with their spirit artifacts or be a match for them. This was how Kin Lai managed to deal great damage to black voodoo cult and the three great families through the eight god corpses after he had donated all of his blazing profound bombs. The Black Voodoo Cult and the three great families Nirvana Realm experts were mostly fighting the Blood Fiend's ten elders in the sky. The martial practitioners on the ships were almost all at Fragmentation Realm or below. These people seriously had no way to deal with the eight god corpses at all. The reason Guan Xian summoned Pu Zi was because he noticed that the eight god corpses would cause great casualties among Black Voodoo Cult and the three great families low-level martial practitioners if they were allowed to continue their slaughter wantonly. Blood Fiend ten elders. Get ready to create the Blood Demon. Zhu Li's voice finally rang out. Run, Qin Lai. That is an imperishable realm expert. Zaiqi, Suzi, Lin Bin. Intercept the Blood Fiend's ten elders with all you got and do not let them gather in one place. Guan Xian screamed. For a time, the crowd fighting on the sky turned into a chaotic mess as the bloody battle grew more and more intense. Meanwhile, Pu Zi continued to descend calmly from the sky and approach Kin Lai unhurriedly. Kin Lai was aghast. 
When he heard Zuli's shouts and learned that this middle-aged man named Puzi was actually an imperishable realm expert, he immediately realized his dire predicament. Hide under the sea. He hastily sent a message to the eight god corpses. You'd best be obedient, little fellow. Puzi frowned slightly. You've heard Guanzhuan's words. My orders are just to shackle the god corpses and capture you alive. I am not going to kill you immediately, so there's no need for you to act so anxious. As he said this, a one-level soul lauder that looked like it was tempered from multicolored glaze immediately emerged from the top of Puzi's head. The soul lauder was beautiful, colorful, translucent and dazzling. A melodious and wonderful chant immediately began the second it appeared. A stunning, boundless aura was unleashed from the soul lauder. It caused every martial practitioner around the setting sun islands to tremble for a moment. Although it was just a one-level soul lauder, it was actually hundreds of meters wide. It shone with a dazzling, translucent luster under the sunlight. The soul lauder suspended in midair was actually even bigger than the flying spirit artifacts of Luan birds and fire phoenixes. Puzi just stood on top of the one-level soul altar and looked down on Kinlai from above. Swoosh. Suddenly, several hundred crystalline chains stretched out of the soul altar and instantly wrapped around the eight god corpses like the tentacles of giant beasts. Countless unknown runes of magic were flowing inside every one of these dazzling chains that looked like crystals. They formed a terrifying will that was capable of shackling the world and its billions of lives completely. The god corpses were as tall as mountains, but they weren't able to break even one of these crystalline chains even though they struggled hard against them after they were shackled. The chains glowed with crystalline light as the mysterious ancient runes leaped out and shot sparks onto the god corpses' bodies. The eight rampaging god corpses actually began to turn quiet. Even the connection between Kin Lai and the god corpses had turned on and off as if they were meeting resistance after the ancient runes showed up. The tremendous might that appeared from the soul lauder that was suspended in midair caused everyone to feel like bowing their heads and worshipping it. Every drop of blood inside Kin Lai's body seemed to be boiling and trembling in anxiety under that godly might. Just surrender yourself to me. Pu Zi said calmly. A thick, large crystalline chain suddenly split apart into dozens of finger-sized crystalline ropes that wrapped around Kin Lai's body instantly. Countless runes that were almost indiscernible to the naked eye, and countless threads that contained the true essence and principle that would shackle the world instantly entered into Kin Lai's blood from the crystalline ropes. Kin Lai's Donshin spirit, sea, flesh, blood, bones, tissues and even cells were all frozen by those magical runes and threads. Suddenly, he became immobilized to the point where he couldn't even blink his eyes. It was as if he and the eight god corpses were shackled by space itself or encased in ice. They immediately lost all ability to fight. The dazzling light unleashed by the hundreds of meters wide glazed soul altar gradually withdrew into itself once more. Ten breaths later, the soul altar had shrunk to a translucent brain mat. Puzi sat on top of his soul altar and slowly floated towards Kin Lai. Puzi stopped just three meters away from Kin Lai and watched him quietly. He said, You seem a little strange, kid. 